My name is Tamim Antonyadis. I'm the chief creative ninja at Ninja Theory. I've always felt at home in the games industry. Like, I've never felt like I was different to anyone. I mean, everyone came from all walks of life. I myself was born in Afghanistan. Dad's Greek Cypriot. I grew up in Spain, France, England, uh, and I, I traveled the world. So I first applied as a programmer. When I went for the exam, they told me that I needed to know assembly language. I didn't know how to write machine code. I asked him to give me a couple of weeks. I went to the library and I learned from uh, books. And I came back after two weeks and did the test and, and passed it. I didn't do great, but the guy who hired me, Toby Simpson, I think he sort of felt a little bit sorry for me, but also a little bit impressed. I've thought about giving up probably seriously about four or five times in my career for many reasons, either it's personal or the, the work commitments and sacrifice that was required or the business environment that you're in means that you can't make what you want to make. But the thing that always made me carry on was the desire to look back at those issues as growth opportunities. And it sounds cliche, but you can look back and see, and see those moments as turning points. <laughs> I think Hellblade was a very special kind of success, one that I've not achieved uh, before in my career. It was super challenging, um, particularly because we didn't know exactly what we were making. I didn't know about uh, severe mental illness, so as I was learning this over the course of two and a half, three years, we were constantly changing the story, the scenarios as we were going along, as well as figuring out how we're actually going to do this whole game on a budget. It was a miracle that we got through it. I sort of think you can think of the world as a game. And when you achieve one challenge, challenge complete, next level, and it's got to be more challenging. And I think that there's a role that video games, real-time technology, and uh, game design can have on the wider world outside of games. So I'd like to start exploring some of those ideas, uh, as well as making great games.